and welcome to Sophie Co. My name is Sophie and today we're going to be talking about this. Now those of you who've been watching my channel for a long time might be thinking, wait, but didn't you change over to silk floss? Why do you need a water flosser? Um, and well, there's a couple of reasons for that. <laughs> So I'm still using the toothy tabs that I recorded in my I Try Toothy Tabs and Silk Floss video. I'm still getting on great with those, but I had a couple of issues with the silk floss. So first of all, I found out a little bit more about how silk floss, or silk in general, <laughs> is actually produced. And I'm not gonna go into details in this video, but do it a bit of research. It is not ethically produced in any way whatsoever. And I just felt like, I didn't really want to be a part of that anymore um, so I wanted to find an alternative I had started uh, looking at uh, other alternatives to silk floss and then I noticed that my teeth were becoming very very discolored now I'm not saying that I have like perfect smiling curly whites you know I'm a big tea and coffee drinker so I don't but between the gaps of my teeth well not the gaps because I don't have any gaps but between my teeth I noticed I was getting a huge amount of staining and it was only between the teeth and it was really a, a surprising amount uh, <laughs> given that the rest of my teeth weren't becoming like hugely massively discoloured either so I, I was like I, I was really confused I didn't know what it was and the only things that I changed were the toothy taps and the silk floss and I figured you know the silk floss is, is going in the, between my teeth that's probably what's causing it and so I stopped using the silk floss and I have noticed that that disc discoloration is starting to lift now so but I don't know why the silk floss was doing that but clearly my teeth do not like silk floss so I had to find an alternative and I was doing some research and I felt that the water flosser was probably the best option for me um, and you know it's just water going in between my teeth that's not gonna cause any discoloration I'm sure this is actually a birthday present from my partner because I asked for one. Uh, these are quite expensive, they're not the cheapest things in the world. Um, not that they're, that they're not worth it, it's just, you know, I don't have a spare like 50 quid hanging around <laughs> each month just to spend on things. Uh, but he agreed to buy one for my birthday, so this is my birthday present. So just to show a little bit about what is in there, um, I have already opened this and this, the main unit here, is already charged. You have to pre-charge this before you use it for the very first time. Um, you fill in the water in this little, this little bit just here. I'll be doing that when we go to the bathroom. And then you turn it on with the buttons at the front. Very helpfully also have the instruction booklet here because if not, I would be pretty useless when knowing what I'm supposed to be doing with this. And then this is the bit that's not so zero waste. Um, but I still felt as though the amount of waste that this would be producing would be a lot less than if I was using standard floss and even to a cent less it's still less waste than silk floss because although silk floss is compostable it still takes a lot of energy to produce that um, but these are the different heads that you get so yes they're in a plastic bag Quel um, yeah the various different heads that you can use um, so you've got this this is one for your tongue. I really hope that this is showing up on the camera. Um, this is the one for your tongue. Uh, this is the, this is the orthodontic one. Um, so it's supposed to be, for, if you've got braces, then you use this one. Um, I have considered getting braces, so this could come in useful at some point in the future, but for the moment, I don't specifically need an orthodontic one. Uh, this is the general, general use one. This is the one that I'm gonna be using for this video. And this one I've forgotten. <laughs> and this one, well, I've lost it now. This one is the plaque seeker tip. Um, it's supposedly specifically for implants, crowns, that kind of thing. And I don't have any of those, but I do have teeth that are very, very close together um, on my bottom jawline. So I probably will use this one as well as the standard use one. Um, and the idea is that the standard juice one and the tongue tongue cleaner one they are replaced every six months and these ones are replaced every three months so it's not it's not ideal but it's better than actual floss and in the end you know you have got to look after your teeth because you know you only get one set well once you're an adult you only get one set so you gotta look after them 
Okay, I'm gonna head through to the bathroom now and we're gonna try this baby out. Okay, so I did just test this out, but my camera didn't record any of it. So I'm not at all pissed off about that at all. Not at all, but it's fine. We're gonna redo it. I'm gonna talk through what I did. Um, basically, I had to fill up this little container here. Um, you can see it's still got a little bit of water left in it. I'm gonna go ahead and refill that up just now. So just made sure I really got this firmly in place because this is going to be over if a hazard if I can't get it to shut properly, but it's fine. Um, I did manage to get a bit of dripping everywhere, so I'm just going to dry that up. The next thing you do is you put on the tip uh, by placing it straight in and then tightening this little thing here until it clicks. Um, and then I have it on the lower pressure here. Um, the lower pressure, I think, is good enough for me, but maybe I'll try with the higher pressure. No, I'm not that right. Um, so I'm gonna try with the lower pressure again. Um, and we're gonna go for it again, even though I did just do this. So I do know what it's like, but shock, surprise. It's so, honestly, it's so weird. It, like, I guess imagine what a jet of water being sprayed at your teeth would feel like, and that's what it feels like. I'm still getting water everywhere. In the first take, I managed to get water everywhere. I'm doing it again. It's all over my face. I bet my makeup is halfway on my neck by this point, but we're going with it anyway. So yeah, so I'm just gonna dry off a minute. Even my top is wet. My top is wet right now, uh, but I'm not gonna take this off. You may be either pleased or displeased to hear. I have also, of course, managed to get water all over the floor. So I've really got to practice my technique with this because I can't just be getting water all over the floor every time I want to floss my teeth. Um, and you can see I've used there a lot of the water. That was kind of a quick once over. I probably would use the whole tank, maybe a little bit more doing an actual proper clean. Um, but despite the fact that I make a humongous mess when doing this and I get water everywhere, I realize that that is just practice and ultimately my teeth do feel a lot cleaner. Like looking in the mirror. Yeah, I know like my teeth are not like the, I've said, I said earlier, not the like brightest, pearliest whites, but ultimately I just want them to be clean and they definitely do feel cleaner. Um, it does say, wait, one well, minute. Uh, yeah, the box, it does say healthier gums guaranteed in just 14 days. So, she says putting the box gracefully back down. So, my hope is that not only is this going to be better for the environment because it's not using as much plastic as standard flossing is, it's also going to be better for my oral health and that is definitely, you know, a good thing in my book. I don't know what that is. Good thing. Good thing. So yes, it does produce more plastic waste than silk flossing, but silk flossing is still using a lot of resources um, to, to create the floss. So in a sense, this is using fewer resources, it's just that those resources that it does use can't be can't be composted. But I definitely think I prefer the water flosser to the silk floss that I was using before. But again, I might give you a little update on this. Uh, I don't know why I'm on tiptoes all of a sudden. I might give you a little update to this um, in like a um, couple of months or so and see if I'm still enjoying it, see if I have got healthier gums in 14 days um, and see whether I'm still happy with the water flosser. Um, so uh, yeah, I hope this video was useful to you, I hope you liked it. If you did, give us a little comment down below, tell me what have you used the water flosser before, is there any other type of zero waste floss that you've used, have you got on with some, have you not got on with others, let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.